You feel me? So definitely shout out to FFP Radio for my people, Radio for the motherfucking pimps, for the motherfucking players. We is here for my we, motherfucking people. For my motherfucking people, man. It's really for my people. We trying to really yeah, agree. like put our people out there, man. We, man, shout out the big, the big bro, uh, Gemini, man. Yeah, shout out to Gemini for giving us yeah, this platform man. on me because like we in like 168 countries. We in China. We in North Korea. Yeah, we in 168 countries. We in Africa. In 168. Everybody countries. can hear this shit. Like download it. Tell your motherfucking friends and family. Yeah. Tell your cousins. We got something for everybody. We tell everybody. We got something for everybody. We got uh, hey. We got on Tuesdays. What we got? We got me. The penthouse renovated. The penthouse with my renovated. Uh, with my girl Chirac Barbie. We shout out to Chirac Barbie on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, on just... Tuesday, shout out to Bobby K and Chirac Barbie. They lit. And then shout out to Megastar. He on on the morning on the uh, morning. morning morning show. Yeah, he went here this morning, man. Uh, he wasn't feeling too well. I hope he uh, get better. Get better. You know. Shout out to Chrissy for Chrissy. Wind Up Wednesday. Right, with Jazzy, with the sex therapist on the show now. She got a whole sex therapist. They be talking she showing motherfuckers how to shit. suck dick, how to act. I didn't see that part. Oh, my bad. It oh. was on there? Yeah, I got all the... All it the, probably was. Just, yeah, showing, I don't know. They showing <laughs> bitches how to pop that pussy open. You feel they me? They teaching them something. Cause they teaching bitches how to really pop that yeah, pussy. No, I Real shit. And talking. I appreciate that because some uh, bitches don't know how to pop the pussy right. And they should tune in on Wednesday night. Uh, and Thursdays, of course, in the motherfucking mix. In the motherfucking mix. We are holding it down. I every do what Thursday I do. Night. I'm just lit. I bring the latest artist. I got my man's YBK in this bitch. And then we got another lit artist in the building. I got my man's Frankie G, baby. He is, hey, he lit. He got music. He got music every motherfucking well. Every fucking well, man. The whole universe. Frankie G, baby, he got music out there. You feel me? So, like, <laughs> hey, let's bring him in the building. Let's get into it. What's cracking, bro? Welcome let's, to what's motherfucking good? FMP Radio. I ain't even have my bump. <laughs> I ain't even have my sounds over here ready. I'm over here trying to load this music. They airdropping me shit, y'all. Y'all know I'm, I'm with the motherfucking Samsung family. I don't be airdropping and shit. But, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Frankie G, baby. Frankie what, what? G, baby, what's good? What's up? What's up? What's up? How y'all feeling, man? <laughs> Hey, same shit, yeah. different day, man. How you feeling, man? Good, I can't complain, can't complain. We feel that shit, man. So listen, man, we want you to know right now, man, you a little, you a little real mellow, man. You just stepped on in the mix, man. Over here, you can say anything you want to say. God damn it, we don't give a fuck. Hey, we turn on this motherfucker. Yeah. Like, we ain't, we ain't, hey, we turn. But yeah. hey, I like a motherfucker that know how to just be chill and yeah. shit. Because I need a motherfucker to calm me down. Because I be right. too motherfucking turned. Keep them. Keep I'll be ready to motherfucking punch him. Punch him motherfucking. He, he might go to sleep. Shit. It's possible. Yeah. <laughs> I just said that too. I went to sleep one time. No. I just said that too. No. I just, <laughs> nigga, going to sleep and shit. I went to sleep all day. That's what I had. I ain't got no say to work. You went to sleep board. like four times. <laughs> you know. During the show? <laughs> No, but uh, man, but not for real though. No, uh, we uh, we glad that you uh, can't had time to uh, stop through, man, and uh, just stop on in the mix, man, to talk about some of the shit that you're doing, some of the new music you got going on. You know what I'm saying? I, um, I know he was telling me a little bit about you before you came, and we I checked out some of the shit, man. It, it's, it, you got some decent shit out, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. So we want to get into. I like to get into the backstory, man. Like, when did this come about? When did you know that you was finna do this shit? Who told you you could rap? Who told you you shouldn't rap? That's the biggest question. That I shouldn't? Yeah. See? Everybody can see it. Like, nah, that ain't for you. Yeah. Yeah, because everybody going everybody gonna to down your dream yeah. first. Yeah. Ain't nobody yeah. going to just support the dream. like Facts. Unless you're just trying to be some regular ass shit. Like, unless you work at the post office. All you work at the post office, yeah, you going to do that shit. Because that's easy to put mail <laughs> into. Like, you stay there long enough, you're going to be the banner. You're going to be that nigga. You're going to be that nigga. Yeah, but, you feel me? But like everybody ain't gonna support the rapping shit. But no, like, they not. They're not gonna support this shit either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gonna support the radio shit either. My daddy told me I need to work at the fire department. Yeah, we all look out for each other. <laughs> for real, we put each other. <laughs> on. <laughs> we work with yeah. each other. <laughs> for real. Ob, so like, like, what's your motivation? What keep you going, bro? Well, uh, really, shit. Life, motherfucker, well, down. Oh really, me! But, but believe in yourself at the same time, like you yeah, know, yeah. you know, you know what you're capable of. You know, you can, you can feel that shit on me. You like, you can feel if you a goofy, and you can feel if you not. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I agree. You don't, you don't you don't? But at the same time, it is an art, though. Yeah, it definitely is an art to your shit. You critique it. Yeah. You and like, how do you, how do you feel like, like, what are some steps to, to critiquing your art? Like, what are you doing, like? Is it like reading, studying, like watching others, like having a mentor? Like, 
What's some shit in like like you feel like is critiquing your art? You feel? Constructive criticism. For sure. Constructive care. Okay. Goddamn, like motherfuckers that's gonna keep it real with your ass. Right. You know I mean? That's definitely one thing. So at the same time, you gotta keep real with yourself too. Yeah. Shit. Not only that, I would say studying your craft. Too. Hell yeah, you definitely gotta be in the books. You gotta know like if like like. What? How many streams you need to reach this? And like, how many views you need? Like, you need to know all that shit. And then, like, you could push yourself to get them views or really? get them streams. Or like, one of I, uh, I seen the artist that's like he wanted five million streams, and he got that shit just from from promotion. You feel me? He ain't no hot artist. I ain't gonna. He just was promoting this shit, and he got the little five million streams. But like, hey, that's some money to him. You feel me? He gonna get that little five bands. That's some money, like. For, Hey, that's decent. It's better than no money. It's better than no money. Like, and it's definitely about like studying your craft and like knowing like who who is in your lane. And then like like I ain't saying like copying them, but comparing and like making your own like type yeah. of way to make it. You feel me? Compare and contrast. Yeah, compare oh, and contrast. Yeah. That's what we call it. Yeah, you feel me? Compare and contrast and like make your own way. Like make your own lane. You feel me? Like never copy nobody, but like Oh yeah, you know we talk about that yeah. authentic self shit yeah, all the that, time, man. At yeah. the same time I would say this too though. Everything under the sun been done. Yeah, of everything course, already everything. been done. Not only that, music, music wise, a lot of people be inspired by different shit. Yeah, they be inspired. He, even as a director, I found that uh, as a writer, it's like if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So you can find yourself still finding some similar storyline plots that already has come out, but you twist it a little bit and make and it your make own. Your but own shit. you also, if it ain't broken, don't fix. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't fix it. So, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's sampling a little bit of of, of, of greatness. You know, yeah, what I'm definitely. Saying? You, I feel like everybody sample because like we sample in the beats. We sample with anything we do. So you feel me? Right. So everybody gonna take a little piece of what somebody else doing and then put their own little spin on it. But don't ever just like just take you know what I'm saying, just take everybody whole you dig, you feel me? But uh you like <laughs> you are you, you know, already know how that shit goes. You got something or you got something decent, you got a little way, you got some road or something that's decent little type. Yeah. Gonna try to jack? yeah, they definitely gonna try to jack your shit. Yeah. Make that same exact shit. So you from here in Chicago? By way? Outside of Chicago. Chicago okay. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. They crazy out there too. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago Heights. No, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Uh, Do y'all have our university park, university park up Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, we you know, we well aware of all the areas, you know what I'm saying? The thing is, I know about Illinois because I went to college in Illinois, so like that made me learn about every fucking you body. Look like you went to college, G. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm not joking. You really do. I did. I went to college. I'm educated. I didn't graduate. I was a drug addict. That a, no, a we, we don't talk. We don't do real yeah, drugs. I don't do drugs no more. When we say drug addict, you yeah. know, we just be talking. I, just, I was the nigga that just came in class late, smelling like a whole bunch of weed, and like, oh, this nigga. Yeah, I used to be high as hell in college. And then I come in class and just like, damn, you ain't been in class I in three months. I was somebody's daddy, so I Damn, like, you ain't been in class like, in three I'm months. Like, I gotta go work all the time. I'm like, like damn, I haven't been in class in three months. You're right, bitch. I got bitch. time for this. <laughs> damn. I wouldn't go to class out. for three months, G. You were smoked out. When did you uh start recording? Um, how old was you when you started recording? Start recording? Or like um, I guess start Put writing. Your voice putting on raps shit. putting raps together, I guess, and let yeah. you know. I was young. Okay. Damn. Do you remember the first rap you wrote? I always ask people that. Hell yeah. Yeah, no. you, yeah I know you do. You just don't want to tell nobody. You ain't gonna rap you. That's how that shit be. They don't be wanting to. I ain't gonna lie. I was a real shit. I really don't remember. Really? I used to write that shit in the book. Hell <laughs> yeah. See if that shit makes sense for you. Like, uh, about, about how old was you when you started doing that? I probably had to be around. Nine, ten. See, ten. he probably was yeah. writing about cur curse words and shit up in there. Oh, me, like, fuck my teacher. She, oh, she gave shit. me an F. I slept that bitch. Nah, that was know. my first rap. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, 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 that, my friend, is why. <laughs> that was my first rap. I think it was probably cheesy. I heard one of, one of Jeezy's songs. Okay. That shit just made me. No, my first rap was actually, I remember my first rap. It was like, my, his name is Lil J, and I rap every day. We be in a, and we say, okay. We be in a, <laughs> 
I said some little shit like that. Dude's gonna be motherfucking hard. I'm shaking your yeah. shit, little Bow Wow. Come on. Like that, Let's go. Hey, Dude's ghost right in the Bow Wow and shit. Frankie G, baby. Where you get Frankie your name? Baby. Frankie right, G, I'm baby. Just to say that. Where did that come from? How the fuck from? that name come up? You like, just asked like after your uncle? Because that's like always somebody uncle named Frankie. Frankie G, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's unique. Don't nobody else get that name, all the truth is so Yeah. Uh, I got my name from my pops, though, but everybody... Like in the media, just call me Frank. If they know me outside, right? Just be like Frank. Well, you got the G baby because you got shot. Nah, nah, nah. G, uh, baby, you got, you got a picture <laughs> on that. Got old baby, got old baby, whatever you want to call. Oh right. yeah, okay, yeah. You feel me? Because you got shot. Because you remember G baby? Hardball. Uh, Hardball. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, that's a classic. Yeah, see, I cried oh, when G-Baby got shot, folks. Oh, I ain't man. like that shit. I bet that shit on Tubi. Yeah, um, <laughs> you remember when G-Baby got shot, folks? It was heartbreaking. It that was shit heartbreaking. was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking when oh, G-Baby got shot. I could take it. No, I ain't So, um, we, we all I like to ask artists, you know, um... Who would you compare like your sound to? Not to say people don't like to compare their sound to nobody, but like what would you compare your sound to? I would say genre wise. Is it trap? I know is who it I would club? say. Who he is. Is it, I'm not gonna say a name, but what do you? He's like you, what's genre? genre? What I'm gonna say you like you like, I, I, I you like a Chicago a, speaker knockers. I only heard a, a little snippet, so I have. I'm really getting into like it a today. Right songs, now. Like maybe it's not all your songs, but like true some of your songs. Reactions I'm gonna give. Some you of your songs right are like remind me like a like a, a kind of like a speaker knockers vibe, but not like a super. Okay. Right with the vibe. That's yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Okay. You no, know, I always got. I, I listen. To, I listen to so many rappers. So like, yeah. I always yeah. got somebody I could compare somebody yeah. to. Yeah. Like, I listen that's to so much we, music. That's why we in a motherfucking mix <laughs> of everything. You know, we covering all genres between the two of us. I think we we got all the genres. Locked. Yeah, we got every genre locked. We like, really do. Even like what 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 don't Folk we listen work. to. Folklore. I listen to some folklore. Me too. I know a little song, you know, folklore too. We, you, know. you listen to uh, motherfucking metal. Like, ah, yeah. I'll kill you. Yeah. I listen to that shit too. I listen yeah. to all that shit. Yeah. Y'all look like it. <laughs> <laughs> listen, so, I, but the first, listen, I'm ready to play some music. The first song that right here that popped up is Balenciaga. Balenciaga. That's that shit. That's the first thing that's, that's right here. It just kind of. That's that shit. I fuck with that song. So well, there you go. Yeah. Look at it. Look at it. Turn it on. Turn it on. We gonna turn up to it. Let's Testimony get it. Testimony to the people. Like, um, what made you make that song, Balenciaga? Was you yeah. just in Nordstrom's or something? And you seen a, you got to like spinning the bag on the Balenci? No, right. I, I just thought about like spinning. I be buying shit. Like I ain't gonna lie. I, ain't lie. I, I low key got a, a fake problem. I be buying shit. And you know, Balenciaga. We, we do you, sometimes people think, I right, do you do it for other people? Do you do it for yourself? You feel me? You try to yeah. recognition, gratification, right. and shit like that. But you, it's just buy what you like, right? What you like? I like it. I want to buy that shit. I work hard for it. Why well, cannot buy no Balenciaga? I agree. And if you if you want it, I say you go get it if you want it. I, don't really I mean, if you want it, it's a way to get it. Nah, we get the swipers. <laughs> that too. Swiper, my swiper. Swipe gonna keep swiping. <laughs> Listen, let's get into it. Um, what was that? Throw it to the people. Let the people know what they fit in here. Let's get into it. I'm gonna leave your mic on. You want to wrap this? No, you good? You don't mind. I'm um, leaving. You know, wrap that shit. Frankie G, baby, you gotta put an IE on it. Frankie and the baby. It's Balenciaga. Balenciaga. Alexander McQueen. Never such. I be doing my thing. Stepping never such. I be doing my thing. Even by my bitch designer. You can have that flash it on you and it still won't matter. When you need those folks, the most, that's when they turn Casper. Got you rolling up them backwards, got you dropping ashes. Gotta take my time, moving slow, so I'm like molasses. I'ma take the picture, never do it backwards. Motivate the trench niggas with my captions. Every day is all black, like I'm a panther. Yeah. Every day is all black, like I'm a panther. Yeah. Fuck 12, they gon' feel treated nigga like I'm on a platter. I swing that iron on the motherfucker like I'm back. We just trying to make it home. Some niggas ain't make it back. You know they be long, but I ain't gonna get into that. They say when you sing, sound like you home, but I ain't made it yet. You baby, what's the G for? Ghetto lifestyle, on. Sticking to the G code. A bitch, you know, cerebros. Taking pictures with the two, trying to get a repose. What you mad at me for? I go broke and reload. Trying to dodge the Ricos. Granny crib, you like a group home. Seen too many two faces. Why we copping two tones? Why I go so high? They never gave a dog a bone. I've been on the journey, God told me no one could come along 
I'm a long way from home and I'm so far gone. Know this shit my destiny, I feel it in my bones. Know the Lord testing me and I can't move around. This that shit they waiting on. Just take you with open arms. We your cheese throwing on. DOP stupid strong. Time to get my paper on. In and out until it's gone. Bunch of lows and GG foes. They a body having bows. We got this shit for the low. Remember having drops, ain't no running out. You can catch me outside, nah, ain't no house, nigga. This shit for them folks that gotta do this shit without niggas. We don't ride waves, we don't do this shit for clout, niggas. We just prove them bitches wrong and make them shut their mouth with it. Stunning is a habit, something I can't live without, nigga. Yeah. Shut their mouth with it. Yeah, yeah. Balenciaga, Alexander McQueen, never sight I be doing my thing, stepping in Versace. I be doing my thing, even by my bitch designer. You can have that flash it on, you should still won't matter. When you need them folks the most, is when they turn cast. Got you rolling up them backwoods, you dropping ashes. Gotta take my time, moving slow, something like molasses. Balenciaga, Alexander McQueen, in Versace. I be doing my thing, stepping in Versace. I be doing my thing, even by my bitch designer. You can have that flash it on, you should still won't matter. When you need them folks the most, that's when they turn Casper. Got you rolling out them backwoods, you dropping ashes. Take your time, move slow with it like this molasses. Balenciaga, that shit go weird, folks. I ain't gonna even lie. That shit go weird, G. That shit was hard. <laughs> yeah, this track go yeah. weird. I like that. If you to, like, go... Grab some. Give me some shit. <laughs> that, like, get on my motherfucking, like, after pay and be like, Sex, I'm coming for you, Sex. <laughs> oh, me. I definitely want to go to Sax and just blow the bag. You feel me? Hey, for real. No, no, that's dope. Okay, I see where you're going with this. I see where you're going. I see where you're going. Um... Who have you worked with? Who are some of the people you work with uh, around the area? Or, you know, who do you want to work with anyway? Um, around the area, I work with Jay Self Made. Okay. Uh, he hot right now. I worked with uh, Jay Nino before. Uh, we got uh, Swerving. You know, uh, everybody that be around just the gang sometimes. Okay. Recording shit. Right, so Chicago, we know you got a couple people in Chicago that has made names for themselves here. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So any of them people that you can see yourself working with, you want to work with, or, you know what I'm saying? I feel like Tad Money and hop on some of your shit. You feel me? Like, I can see something like that. Yeah. I can like, hear it. Tad Money, Cat Up Boy, like, I feel like they are finesse mm-hmm. around and fuck with you on some shit, right? Like, and they're going to even charge you that bag bag, like a little, a little nickel. You know what I'm saying? Hop on something. It's still yeah, a bag, but it ain't like. Yeah, everybody be <laughs> going to lose it for free. Ain't going to well, lose it. Some people, do, some people will. They believe in it. You yeah, know, yeah. they fucking yeah, with they it. They heard Because you got big, big, big artists that's just doing shit for free. Some of them, if they fuck with it, they fuck yeah, with that's it. That's true, though. You know what I'm saying? True. So, y'all, but no, I, I feel like that's dope. Um, what you got going on? Like, uh, you got, like, some new music coming out? Like, anything you send me that. Yes, definitely. Uh,. Balenciaga, that's coming out. Okay, that's one of them. Uh, Keep It Together, that's coming out as well. When is Balenciaga dropping? When that's dropping? Is you going to drop a video with that? I'm going to drop a video. You got to be in a department store. Uh, I'll say right? yeah. You got to be like in the, in the DVDs. Clothes and shit, and like, just being fly. I ain't saying you got to be in all You got to have them like ask them if they can come bring you like a little glass or <laughs> a little drink. Like you sitting there trying on clothes, getting dressed. You got a little bad yeah, chick geez. with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that would be that would be, be real hard directing shit. So you know, yeah. I can see it. You yeah, know, I, 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 I like the direct shit too. So I yeah. definitely can see your vision. Yeah, you feel me? Like yeah. this in the department store and Balenciaga. See all the but how much would you think you had to spend at least three bands, right? Oh, you steal the yeah. shots and this ways around all that shit. You get a motherfucker to dress up and act like they work at the store and come <laughs> over there and you steal the shots. I mean. You steal the shots. You make it work you, and you get in there. And then how you do it is you film like up in the uh, yeah. in the store and then you can get like shots inside. I like the water towers. If we got to get one of them. Yeah, I got shirt. All type of shit. He just can't be in there just like get a shirt. Like no, I'm talking about, I mean, he can still be shopping. I mean, he can still shop. Yeah. I'm saying like still in the shots. It's like, yeah, we can just steal the shots. Fuck their permission. They can be like, get out of here with that. I'm like, fuck you, get the shot. Yeah, we, we definitely can still get we the shot. We just need a lot of B-roll. Them yeah. trying on clothes at different stores. Yeah, yeah just a lot of B-roll. You right. Fuck me. People like it. exposure too. Yeah, yeah, we definitely some directors because we did create our own movie. Make sure y'all look at our movie that we just Killer dropped. Killer 8. Killer 8. Eight. Killer 8. It's yeah. called Killer 8. We dropped the movie directed by Bobby K. And Ellie <laughs> Jerky. <laughs> <laughs> It was directed by me too. So. Yeah, that was all hell. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> um, what is the album drop? No date yet. No date. Okay, no do, date yet. So do uh, you thinking this year or definitely this year? 
Okay. So I heard you say keep it together. I got to keep it together. <clears throat> Together. Yeah, Balenciaga. That's all coming on street. Tell, tell us a little bit about keep it together because we're gonna play that next. Let's keep it together. Yeah, just going through motions, really trying to keep it together. You know, on the grind, really with yeah. this grind specifically. So many, so many limitations, Facts. doubts. Yeah. Already think motherfuckers don't want to yeah, motherfuckers don't want to fuck with you. Now motherfuckers want to fuck with you. It's like yeah, a lot of different shit. Up and down, back yeah, and forth. up and down, back and forth. Shit, I already know. Yeah. That's true, keeping it together. So we finna just try to keep it together, we finna play the trap, we finna drop it. Hey, we'll turn the fuck it. up, Frankie G, baby. We in the motherfucking mix, bitch. Let's F-R, get it. FMP Radio. For my people. Plays like Phil Jackson got a bad bitch like Cleopatra. Oh, but uh, mm. <laughs> oh, we are. Right. This is for my people, radio man. Y'all already know how we coming, how we slumming, man. This damn near the end of the show. We got some more, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of real nigga news. I got a couple little bit of real nigga news, and then we gonna end the show. I'm gonna have my man Frankie G, baby, stay in here for real nigga news. He gonna talk yeah. about it with me. This is real nigga news. Real nigga news. And then after this, you know what I'm saying? We finna uh we finna end the show. Finna hey, the show. Coolio is dead. Coolio yeah. dead. Rest, Rest in peace to Coolio, man. man. What what song Coolio made again? Move around. No, that ain't Coolio. Nah. <laughs> the Kenny and Kale song, theme song. Living in the Gangsta oh, paradise. paradise. Yeah, gangsta paradise. Living in the gangsta paradise. Yeah, okay. My money, something. Money on my mind. Yeah. Can barely keep this up. Can barely keep it right. Like, I don't know, but I thought he was already dead, to be honest. Yeah, I thought he was a Mandela really effect. <laughs> but no, my uh, condolences goes out to him and his family, but I honestly did think. Yeah, I already thought Coolio was dead before. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he alive. Got. Recipe to Coolio. Like, no, Recipe to Coolio. That man, is, he's an icon. He's, well, I don't know if he's an icon, but he's a, um, fi- he's a, 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 a noted figure in the hip hop community and in, uh, film. He was one of the first rappers to go nationwide with the acting and really be taken serious with yeah, it. Yeah, Coolio well. definitely was they one of the took, top actors listen, in Tupac. And not only that, Coolio. he made you take him serious even with his wacky hair. The hair was to get you going. It was a conversation piece. Yeah. Remember that. When you step out, you go to mink, you mix and mingling with people, you go in places, you can be fly, but you can have on a conversation piece that bring the attention to you. It could be a slogan across a shirt. It and it would draw anything. so much attention to you because it's a conversation piece. But his hair was a conversation piece, piece which drew so many people to him. And because it was just know, some weird ass um, hair, it just like went out all the way up it, to like, it was like, like nobody knew what. Yeah, never yeah. everybody it was ever like seen some it. Of tennis. Yeah, like it yeah. really did. I mean, he knew what he was doing with that look, but he will be missed. I'm sure. Like. I really th- no cap. I really thought he was already gone, and I'm the, the Mandela and effect. The COVID has fucked us up. Like yeah, I don't know what year it is. Yeah, I, after like um, after Corona, I be thinking everybody did. Damn. Like I thought I thought motherfucking motherfucking Biden dead, but he still alive too. He so. is dead. <laughs> um, no, okay, we also knew shit. Oh still God. real nigga news. Real uh, nigga news. 
Ooh. news for the real niggas. Damn, hey. we gonna be in trouble. Hey, but uh, uh, let's get to the news. So, hey, what else for the second? <laughs> you know I be drunk. Already in trouble. Hey, the baby. Uh, why I knew you was gonna say the baby? The baby. He had a look like woman, just like Megan Thee Stallion in his video. Do y'all think he petty? Do y'all think he should have kept that whole under wraps about him fucking Megan Thee Stallion? So first of all, she already came out and her in two songs that she talked about it in her music. She said that he she fucked. Yeah, she said that the, the, her pussy was the most important meal he was ever gonna eat, and she said like only thing you can say is that you fucked me. But she said she talked about it in her music, so she already oh, so she already it. said she, just she didn't take. No, she, you know, she. Oh, I didn't know it. she. Already. She already talked her shit, and I feel like who ain't fucking who in Hollywood and in the streets. Who the fuck cares? The baby, you trying to recover from that terrible um, rant you went on, and now you trying to kind of pull off a of Megan Thee Stallion to get back in the game. The I don't baby, know. I, I did. feel like I was rocking with you, the baby, but I saw you perform twice, and I, I was ask underwhelmed. Frankie G, hey, Frankie G, baby, would you expose the bitch that you fucking one of your raps? Not like that, probably. <laughs> nah. Yeah, supposed to. Right keep it G. Keep, keep it G. I mean, you're going to keep the shit real, yeah. but it's like... It, 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 you can hit a motherfucker with a discreet line that only that but, motherfucker specific. Yeah, but the thing you know, is, like, I would have did like this. He, I wouldn't he have know said... that she, that, that girl, that's why he like, well, let me talk about it. Like, nobody cares. But the thing is, if I was the baby, I would have did like how Frankie G baby said. I wouldn't have hit it and been like, I was fucking on Megan Thee Stallion. I would have been like, hey, my daughter playing with little ponies. I play with ponies too, like a stallion. Wait, right? <laughs> I, I get where you're going. You, was, you, was, you, you, you shouldn't have said door that. You, you was on your way, uh, but then you got the tour. It was something yeah, like that. I know where you was going. Yeah, like I got you. Well, I'm saying my daughter, like she played with little, my little pony. I got you. And then I play with making a stallion. I got it. You feel me? Like that? I would have. I would have said the bar like that. I, yeah. Honestly, I yeah, feel like I, uh, yeah, yeah, bar. <laughs> we still <laughs> catch it. Though. You still, still catch it, still though. Megan. But I would have said the bar to the point like. This. Now let's get into it. We'll get into it. Now it goes deeper than this because not only did we already know that this had happened was because when he started making music with Tory Lane, she became very uh, upset. Mad. She and got mad. And Twitter ran against each other, and they was going in. That's yeah, how you know it was some shit going on. But you gotta understand. Uh, 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 she's an Aquarius. She gonna move like that. She don't give a fuck about who she fucking and what she did in her past. The baby, you gotta do something else. Go fight somebody else in the bowling alley. Like, go do some other shit. But that I feel like the baby, like, like it is what it is. Just keep touring. You're not gonna get that many sales. But I'm a who? Not, I saw him perform. But I'm gonna go perform. Terrible. I saw him. He be jumping around and shit. Terrible. Now I saw him with little baby. One the first time and the baby you could tell he practiced and I told you you could tell he really put on a good show. It was amazing. Then I saw him again recently with Chris Brown. It was like, God damn it, this nigga is gonna be an icon. Yeah, but it, it is. I, mean, it is. Uh, I don't like going to concerts anyway because I feel like I be too in tune more than an artist. I don't want to be more into. It's only some artists that I go see like I go see like Kanye. Oh, it's so amazing. Because he's gonna be more excited than me. Three times. You feel me? I don't wanna go I'm to happy no, I've seen him too. Yeah, I don't wanna go to see no artists. I went to the ritual and, I'm a, and everything a couple years ago. I was a part of the ritual. Yes. Yeah. I too. <laughs> That's why y'all here eat people. Dun, 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 dun. I ain't eating eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Boosie said that we need to ban the uh Dama. I don't uh, wanna hear shit Boosie got to say. Boosie said we should ban the Dama video, the Dama, the Jeffrey Dama movie <laughs> off of Netflix. Real nigga, nigga, who? That's what Boosie said. Do y'all agree with Boosie? Do you, what about um, you? Do you think we should ban that movie off of Netflix? I ain't watching. You ain't watching. You ain't seen that. I, I feel, I feel like it's too graphic. I fell asleep on it. I, I mean, it was just too kinda, exposed. I don't know. I feel like it was, I, I, maybe I couldn't get into it. I watched a lot of shit like Game Boos, of Thrones and shit. That was too. Boo, Boosie like, said we should ban it because he ate a lot of black people. I'm like, he well, was said, eating well, a lot. that we taste good because, you know, in the slave trade. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. So you want to eat some fried nigga? I don't know. Somebody I mean, in the slave trade. In the slave trade, they used to feed us salt to, on the boat. And it preserved us with salt. So it started becoming a part of our body. That's why hypertension runs high in the black community. But outside of that, I think that we already naturally have a flavor to us. Yeah, when I buy my fingernails, I taste good. Hey, the, I did see the part where he uh, placed the man. I did see the part where he had a... I, I, I seen the part where he had a piece of ass on the plate. <laughs> and he was just looking at they playing this old violin ass music and it was all like supposed to be seductive with him and this piece of ass on the plate and it was just 
unreal to me. I just can't believe For that real? somebody was. In, yeah, he was eating ass hearts. He, he was eating everything. At the plasma center too, and he fed it to people. And he was feeding other people by mark that would come over to like, other people. Would like a burger? Huh, would you like a burger? Would you like a nigga burger? <laughs> No, 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 Bro, no. you wildin' out, You gotta man. have some compassion for the people in the victim. Would you, would you like a nigga, would you like a Mexican burger? That's just good. <laughs> Hell no. That's Hell shit, no. That shit, that shit I don't know. Like I feel like that, that shit was, well, I, I couldn't watch all of it. You feel me? I was watching it a little bit with my uh, significant other, but I couldn't watch no more with you. She probably was like, no, we ain't gonna watch it. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> man, I, want, I don't like horror shit. I don't like horror. I had bad dreams. I and have that's a true drink. story. Too. I have a wild wake up and the motherfucker is slicing my throat and shit. I ain't got time for that. I didn't that. know Niecy Nash was on there trying to act like she was acting. And hey, shout out to Niecy Nash because she was really trying Nash. to stop him. <laughs> she tried to stop him from killing 50 people. They police don't listen to the black people. Yeah, I told y'all to come over here. <laughs> I just told y'all. So who's that lady that's in the court? That's Who's, another that's person. That's 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 okay, okay. See, right. You don't have to watch the show to know it. Okay, we got some more shit. Social media. Real nigga knew who. Dudes for the real niggas. Uh, Scotty Pippen's wife is Ooh. fucking with Michael Jordan's son. Yeah, because who ain't she yeah. fucking with? That pussy been popped. It still <laughs> get popped. But no, she went to she went to the uh, Roller Lab with Michael Jordan's son and shit. They like dated son. Is that bogus or that? Well, listen, I mean, I fuck her. She is a beautiful. That's a bad She is a decent girl. ass bitch. Woman. But the thing is, it's I feel like it's got a Pip, Scotty Pippen fault. You need to watch the bitches you choose to marry. So what did Mike, what did Michael Jordan tell him on the phone? What did he tell him on the phone? Michael Jordan said he out of it. He said he don't give a fuck. He said uh, fucking he fucking your bitch. He Because he, he don't give a fuck. He got three, four, five white bitches. <laughs> he got he, yeah. Michael. But Michael I said Jordan, like this. Yeah, Michael Jordan proud of his son. If uh, if uh, if your man we used to get our hair cut. If your man's man son was fucking uh, your bitch. MJ, would you be uh, mad? Oh, okay. I Mark is the name. Yeah, I used to see him all the time. <laughs> he said yeah. shit happens a little bit, but I wouldn't even be mad about it. But Larissa Pippen, she's beautiful, you know. You know, she's a cloud chaser. If I know my um, bitch is slut, I wouldn't even care. I'm like, she is slut. But the whole point is, she's a cloud chaser. If he wants to get a cloud chaser, go get a cloud chaser that's gonna put you on the map. She's not gonna put you on the map. Yeah, she not. You know, you go get what you get. You one of them Kardashians and one of them. Yeah, uh, yeah. Social media girl. Yeah, gonna, somebody that's higher you know, ranking. Uh, somebody a higher ranking, ranking yeah. hoe. If you try yeah. to get into it and break your name into it, but she yeah. not the one to do it, young Mike. Yeah, you love Mike. She little ain't the one to do it, G. You should just get you a card. I feel like he could get her, him Chloe. I'm like, he might just, he love Mike. He could get Chloe. He might just hit in past. I know it's so weird because I she, I know she know his mother. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Funny as hell. Oh, bitch, you definitely gotta know the nigga mama, That's funny as hell. Yeah, like, it is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody fucking everybody. Hey, it is what it is. I said that. That's why it don't even matter. But you got something else? Hey, Kodak just paid rent for 28 families. Do you feel like all rappers should just vote back? I'm upset because I wish I was one of the 28 families. It's hard out here for a pimp. Hell yeah, like, I feel like all rappers. All rappers should do that shit. Fuck buying a fifty thousand dollar chain. Bad me. Well, you know what? Honestly, that would be amazing if most rappers thought like that to just go out and help communities here and there. Do they understand like when they go out and spend thirty thousand dollars, the what thirty thousand dollars walking through the hood can do for people and helping people and just really uh, uh, putting money back into that uh, black area? That would really do a I lot. I think they can't. But they do are that so self. Shit. They don't really have that money. I think they be capping. I think they do got the money, but they just can't do it. I think they, they can't they do it or some shit. Well, Drake was down in my... That's a lot. Drake he was gave in a million. Miami. He gave a million away. He was he giving away 5000 5000 yeah. to anybody He gave a million away. He gave it... This gave, about what you want to do. You can do what the fuck you want to yeah, do with your yeah, money. You can't, is, they can't that tell that you. Is, yeah. He gave away now. He gave away, away money. Buy a Lamborghini. Yeah, he Why can't I give away? How you feel about that? Because you're going to get your ass shot. Right. Right. You, you, As you, you sitting there helping the hood out. Would you give away your out. money to... Well, we don't know how the Illuminati Would you go back to Four Heights and give away some money? You got to get back. Especially if that's where you came up at. You got to get back some type of way. You can't build I'm building a wreck from what built you. Exactly. Yeah, that's fact. Exactly. You gotta yeah, always pay homage yeah, to it. And not pay homage and not get no money, bro. That's bogus, right? Yeah. For real. Yeah, yeah that's facts. That's and facts. what can we find you at? All your uh, platforms, social media, YouTube, anything. Let us know where we can find Frankie G Baby at, man. I'm on uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, SoundCloud, YouTube, Apple Music. But, um, spinal fans. cord. I mean, what's that shit called? Not spinal cord. Uh, spinal cord. <laughs> 
<laughs> Spot a fly, nigga. Spot a fly, yeah. Spot a fly. Yeah, spot a fly. That nigga said uh, spinal cord. <laughs> this nigga uh, off the I'm rocks. Really <laughs> uh, yeah, but you can follow, find me at uh, Frankie G, baby. Uh, we gotta put an IE on it on Frankie and baby. Hey, hey, definitely shout out to Frankie G, baby, for coming through, man. Your music is lit as hell. You know what I'm saying? We 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 gonna keep it in the mix. You feel me? You what you looking at? You got another song that he got? You got one more song he got? Yeah, that uh, that last song, uh, Plain Jane. Yeah, that's from that's from uh, my grind too. That'll be out too this year. I don't see that one. I don't see Plain Jane. Hey, but we like ate. Oh, I see it. Got you. Hey, we finna play that. Hey, perform that for us. We're in time for the fun time. We're gonna end the show after this. We're gonna get out. Of, I, for, this for my people. Okay, we're gonna play this song. We're gonna be back and we're gonna. Swoop. Yeah, we're gonna swoop swoop after this. Let's get it. Radio man, we keep the lavish artists, we keep the lavish we guests do. in the whole motherfucking world, the friend. Whole motherfucking world, man. In the whole motherfucking <laughs> world, man. We keep the lavish artists, I man. Swear. Because it's for my people. We be latest. This is for my people, man. Yeah. Shout out to Frankie G. Hey, Frankie G, baby, where can they find you at, man? Let them know, man. You can find me at uh on Instagram. I be on Instagram a lot. One IG. IG baby. IG. One two. Frankie G baby. IG yeah. Twitter. I probably might do some unreleased SoundCloud. Okay. SoundCloud. I gotta check back in. And then you on YouTube? Yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, musicians do that. They put a lot of unreleased stuff on SoundCloud. Just you know, throwing it out there for the people. Yeah. For like my that. people. I like that. Sure. Let's do it, man. I got some remixes coming through. All yeah. type of stuff, man. I'm slowing but, it up. But other than that, you can be found on all streaming platforms. All streaming platforms. One Frankie G Baby or Frankie G Baby. Now is this based out? You know, black people. Some people is all one word. You can do it one word, however you want to okay, say Okay, you know, some people, you know, Frankie G, baby. You know, yeah, it's probably be hard to find music. Yeah, he yeah, on that bitch. I, I'm, because I'm, I'm over here a lot, and I'm just looking for music, and I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck. Frankie G, baby, you gotta put an IE on it, Frankie and baby. You gotta put the IE on the Frankie and the baby. Frankie G, baby. Don't forget it. Got you, got you, there you go. The baby who is Frankie G, baby. Frankie got a baby. Oh, me, we out here. Hey, man, it's your boy, LA underscore Drinking King. Make sure y'all follow me on all platforms, Twitter. Uh, Black Planet, all that shit. I'm on all everything. 
Follow my man I Spot K. Let him know. I be so stuck on Black Planet. Uh, y'all already know what it is. Neighborhood Fly Guy Bobby Crystal. Check me out on all social media sites. Um, all that good shit. Follow us at um, The Family 312 for all the background footage and everything that goes on behind the shows here at FMP Radio. Also, check us out on the FMP Radio page on Instagram. Y'all already know we keep that very uh, business savvy. So, you know what I'm saying? You want to be a little ratchet? Follow both, but keep up with The Family 312 because, you know, that's what we lit at. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we out here, man. Yeah. This is in the mix, man. Make sure y'all look back. We're going to be back next week. Same shit, yeah. different day, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We out here for my people radio. Download the app. Let's get shout it. Shout out to everybody on FP Radio. Yeah. Shout out to the Kids and Cousins. Man. Shout Let's out go. to Popping the Podcast. Shout out to uh, yeah. Wind Up Wednesdays. Shout out to uh, In the Mix. Shout out to the Penthouse. Shout out to uh, the Wake and Bake Morning Show. Wake and Bake Morning we Show. We lit around yeah, this buddy. bitch. I already know what it is. Let's so if y'all it. trying to get in tune, get in tune. For my people. Uh, what's the motherfucking email? FMP. Uh, on, on air, air at and Yahoo you. if you're trying to get down and get one of these promotional packages and you're Let's trying to come up. through and be heard. You can do it. You can do it. With you, one can of them packages. you should be here. Get cross promotions on a lot of shows. Come fuck with us. Let's get it. That part. Turn up. We'll be back next week. We gotta go. FNP Radio, bitch. Let's gotta go. go.